Okay, license hearing and public safety committee. Um, we're going to start with roll with call of or, call to order, and then the roll call. Alderperson Barb Feldy, I am here. Betty Ackley here. Dean Decker here. Leslie Laster here. Amanda Salazar here. All right, pledge of allegiance. Stand if you're able. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we have nobody new. We have introductions. And we're to number five, approval of the minutes from March 16th, 2022. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Opposed nay. <coughs> Motion carries. Item first discussion and possible action. Discussion of ex expansion of the provision of 7456 SMC to allow right in addition to bear and park beer in park sorry um, when group holding temporarily class b license licenses hold events in parks discussion only so this uh, comes up because um, in 2019 we made some significant changes to chapter 74 which is the parks chapter and um, part of the reason we did this change is that the ordinance had just gotten very complicated, right? We would have, it would say, alcohol is not allowed at any park, but then it would say, but it is allowed at these parks, but then it said, but except it isn't allowed in these times. And then it would say, but except it is allowed. So it, it, it so what we did is we wanted to clean it up. Um, it also, one of the other problems we had is we had a lot of what you might call special legislation for spe certain events where a specific event would have permission to have alcohol in a park on a, on a particular day, but they would change the days of the events and the ordinance wasn't up to date. Um, so uh, we, we made, made the change um, and it got rid of all those specific events and basically provided that uh, in parks that didn't allow alcohol, if an organization got a picnic license, this is these temporary class B licenses that go to nonprofit organizations, uh, that they would be able to serve beer uh, at their events, even in parks where it's, it's prohibited, basically because it would be coming through you in any case to, to approve uh, those picnic licenses. Uh, we weren't gonna allow hard liquor, uh, but there was no discussion at the time about wine, uh, and wine is sort of that middle middle ground. As it turns out, there are some events that want to serve wine, and in fact, at least one event that apparently has been serving wine, despite the fact that it's not allowed. Um, and you know, and th their defense to the whole thing was, well, we didn't know it changed. You know, we were allowed to do this before because they had special legislation before, although they were doing it on the wrong day because their special legislation gave a particular day and they weren't holding the event on that day. So what's before you is before we went and drafted something up, I wanted to make sure that you guys were okay with the idea that we're just going to just add, why don't we just add wine? Um, so anybody who has a picnic license, they, when you apply for a picnic license, you have to apply whether you're going to serve beer or beer and wine. You guys have to approve it anyway. Um, if it's going to be in a park, um, you will know whether it's a beer license or it's a beer and wine license. And we won't have to, you know, we, we could just change the law so that as long as you approve those picnic licenses for wine, wine will be allowed in the park for that particular. Discussion, questions? I believe didn't isn't that the didn't the the Rotary Clubs their lobster boil wasn't that one always that's the one that always had wine before yes. so and they like... they were the one that had special legislation in the past okay. so they weren't doing it right even <clears throat> before 2019 but it was only because they changed their dates okay. Um, okay but yeah since 2019 since we changed that and no, nobody I mean I've never gone to that particular event so mm -hmm. I didn't know they served sure. wine and yeah. nobody caught it. Okay. Um, in the process of changing the ordinance. So, 
So there are many parks. So all any park, any organization, nonprofit can pull a class B for any of the parks within the city. Right. Right. Okay. Even Fountain Park. Even Fountain Park. Right. Okay. Yeah. There's it's no limitation that, on the park. There's no limitation on the park. Okay. It's just that the limitation was in order to do that, it was limited to beer. Um, Got it. And now we would be saying wine is okay too. We're not going to add hard liquor. Oh, and yeah, you can't no, do I that with no, the no. places anyway. Yes. But, um, Festivals. right. Yeah. Okay. But this would basically allow allow the wine. There is another event that just came in, also the Greek Fest that wants to serve wine. Um, do we set parameters around them when they're pulling a, a picnic license? Do we sh like, you know, these are the things we to think about, and but how do yeah. we? So, so traditionally, what tr in the past, what they used to actually all come to this committee yes. without being I vetted anywhere. That. <laughs> and so we've what we've done is now we send those to that staff committee and the staff committee looks at the application okay. and basically looks to make sure uh, staff the staff looks at you know what are they doing as far as are they se setting it apart are they separating it out are they requiring okay. wristbands all those kinds of things mm -hmm. and it looks at what's what kind of event is it you know i mean you don't have to be quite as restrictive when the event like the art openings in the sure. ebco building aren't you know they don't get as uptight about what those requirements are because you actually have to go in and out yeah. of the building and somebody can just sort of check there sure. that somebody's of age in a park it's a little more restrictive and that's where we're generally looking for the two things we look for is that they set apart the beer garden or the wine garden in this case so that you actually have to you know so there's an actual entrance and an exit into it so it's easier to control and the the wristband okay cool Chuck, generally, do they, um, the staff recommend that they have, you know, like a police officer on duty there or something if they're, if they are serving the alcohol? So for the picnic licenses, what tends to happen is the police department is part of those meetings. And so if they believe it's the type of event that has, ha that has issues, they may recommend that, but we don't recommend it for every single event. Some of the events just don't have that kind of problem. And generally, that's nonprofits, not for other people that are just. It, it, it is for nonprofits, or it's 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 called it's actually bona fide clubs, and bona fide clubs has this sort of definition um, that includes nonprofits, basically. Yeah, it's basically right. those who have like a board and they meet and they take minutes yeah. and they have a. Job. So they're in a real organization, not just somebody wants to have a party. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. So they, they meet, but they're not, they don't have to have their 501c3. Right. Okay. Yeah. But they do have to sort of have, they have to be a real organization. Okay. Correct. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's, what is it, like six months of continuous something meeting or like something that. like that? Yeah. Okay. So it's not like a fly I know a lot kind of about thing. this due to other nonprofits I've been a part of. So okay. I'm in the nonprofit world a lot. <laughs> yeah. So I know a lot about it. Were you an alderman? We talked to you about some of yes. those. Yes. Yes, I do. I know all the, I've been on the other side of it <laughs> and understanding the rules. Any other questions? Leslie, got any questions? No, I think it makes sense to add wine. No. Yeah. I think the chief. Yeah, I would just add to, to the question that you asked. Our preference is, is not to have a police officer, it's to have security. Tell them that they might yes. need to get some security right. if it's yes. over a certain amount of people they expect. We're police, and so we yeah. do police work. We don't do security work. Yeah. In, in some instances, We've been filling that gap because of the nexus with the city, but my preference is that they hire security to do what they need to do and not try to hire us. Yeah, and something that I found successful through doing some of the large events through the nonprofits is actually having sort of an ID check spot where they have to, not only are you coming, but we're checking your ID, we're wristbanding you. So there's kind of a two-step process before you're purchasing. Kind of like the bratwurst days. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, well, that kind of sort of eliminates any of that sort of weirdness. Like, it's hard to like try to make a sale and have to ID and be responsible for all those right. things. So I think if there can be somebody who feels comfortable in that, it sort of helps yeah. double check. Because it's when it's, it's busy and things like that, you've got right. a lot of people. Yeah. And then I just showed you my ID. Somebody says, you know, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Right, right, you know, right. yeah, I just showed it to you before. Yeah, right? well, Remember you don't, that? Actually, don't talk to me. You have to go to them. They'll yeah. check you. Yeah, right? they'll check you. Yeah. I think that's a, that's a yeah. 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 respect. I agree. This was discussion only. Yeah. yeah. Right. So it basically, I've heard from all of you, you're good with that. I'll come yeah. with, a, with an ordinance. And there's time. 
we, we did it as a discussion only rather than rushing it through because there's time before the first event that wants to serve wine. Oh, okay. Adam, that was my next question. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. And we're on number seven, RO number 136, 21, 22, 3, 21, 22, by city clerk submitting various license applications. We're recommending granting all of the applications and the changes on the RO. As you'll note in the recommendations, there are a few that are going to have to provide some additional information before we'll issue, but, we, but we're good with you granting them and we'll just hold them until they give that information and then issue the license. Okay. Need a motion. Motion to grant the licenses. I make a motion to grant the licenses. I'll second. Okay. Discussion. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Oh, wait a minute. Leslie, are you on aye? Yes. <laughs> okay. Nay. All chair votes aye. Um, passes. Okay, number eight, next meeting date will be April 13th, 2022. At least it's not a Friday the 13th. And that will be your final night meeting, so you'll be adjourned. So, yeah, till we see who the new committees are, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, got that one, Leslie? Yes, my last day is the 18th of <laughs> April. <laughs> You're smiling pretty good today. <laughs> no. Okay. Number nine, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 I don't aye. think everybody say nay. <laughs> Chair votes aye and we're adjourned. Aye.